Okay, so before 1989, I was a hairdresser. Um, and I can still remember my very first pay packet as an apprentice hairdresser. And that was $27 for the week. <laughs> as you can imagine, it doesn't matter what times you're in, $27 is not going to get you a great deal of anything. So in my second year of hairdressing, I guess my entrepreneurial skills sort of shone through because I knew that I wanted my own business. So I left my secure apprentice career and I bought a salon um, and I stole one of the uh, managers that I worked with. So even though I was her boss, I needed her in the salon as a senior and a qualified person so that I could continue to do my apprenticeship. Yeah. So, yeah. So I opened my salon. Uh, that was back in '78, I think, or '79. Uh, both my partners, Emmanuel Kokoris and Emmanuel Drivers, um, they had an idea for a coffee shop, a late night coffee shop. It was straight after Expo, where we had been um, privy to being able to go to get a coffee and or a meal or, or cake or whatever at pretty much any time of the day or night. Wow. So um, the Emmanuels and their wives uh, at the time, they were at a function and they wanted to go for a coffee afterwards. There was nowhere in Brisbane that they could go for coffee. So that's where they came up with the idea of having a late night, nice coffee shop where um, you, know, you could get a, a light meal, coffee, a, a beverage, a, a, a alcoholic beverage. Um, to continue sort of going through to the wee hours. So when Coffee Club opened up in the 2nd of November 1989 at Eagle Street Pier, um, our intention was that we were going to have the best coffee shop open till late. Wow. So, you know, fast forward 28 mm. years down the track. It's um, 2016 now. And um, we have, uh, like you said, over 400 coffee shops yeah. uh, in nine different countries. Mm -hmm.